guys, Brittany Flammer here. On my channel, you'll find videos about teaching online ESL, about travel, and about budgeting so that you can do the things that bring you joy. Today, we're gonna talk about magnetic boards. I love my magnetic board. I use it every day, pretty much every single class I teach. In fact, I love it so much that I have two boards. I have one I use for teaching, ta-da, and I have one to store all my props on. I'll show you step by step how to make your own. Let's do it. To go ahead and get started, here are the supplies you need. A blank wall, ta-da, some sheet metal. You can pick this up at your local hardware store. I just did a quick search, and for this size, at our local Lowe's, two feet by three feet, it's like $11.50, something right around there. I also looked at Home Depot. The prices are a little bit different. Home Depot was a little bit more expensive, but it had a lot of different size options. So they had smaller sizes. If you don't want something this huge, they had a lot more options. Um, so check out your local hardware store for this. Velcro command hooks. These things are amazing. I use them for everything. These won't take the paint off of your wall. You can use them to hold up to 16 pounds. They hold a ton of weight. They won't take the paint off. They're amazing if you don't want to damage the wall. Paper. I got this at the dollar store. Just found something I like. Or you could also use lightweight fabric. That would work fine too. Um, just whatever you have on hand. This was a dollar. And masking tape. Let's get started. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If so, be sure to like it down below. Subscribe in that corner or down below. And email me at brittanyflammer at gmail.com with any questions. Thanks so much. See you soon.